हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एस्पायर थर्टी टू एंड आफ्टर मेनी डेज आई थॉट वाई नॉट रिकॉर्ड अ वीडियो अबाउट करियर गाइडेंस फॉर द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एंड देर इज़ वन क्वेश्चन विच इज़ वेरी ऑफन आस्ड बाय मेनी स्टूडेंट्स दैट शुड यू अप्लाई फॉर डी डी एस आफ्टर योर बी डी एस और इट इज़ बेटर टू अप्लाई आफ्टर एम डी एस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर some information which uh, i have gained uh, during the course of my you know application process or you know in fact this is the information which uh, i have collected from speaking to many people including the program directors in uh, foreign universities so we have two important scenarios that you are an undergraduate and uh, you applied for the dds or you are thinking of applying for dds so we'll see both positive and negative aspect of this first thing would be the positive here is that uh, as per the podcast uh, which i have conducted on aspire 32 many people have told me that there are some dental schools uh, you know would like to recruit Uh, or uh, take students who are just out of dentistry in india because then uh, it is easier to uh, teach them because they have just started with new american system so the unlearning part is less so it becomes easier for them so that is the first advantage which they have said and second is that uh, many times what happens is uh, when you are in this application process Uh, after your bds you can go to united states maybe do an mph or uh, maybe you know you are in application process but you are staying in united states so what people have told me the advantage is that since you are in united states it becomes easier to talk to people you know develop connections because there are times where i have felt that you know you may have achieved a lot uh, in your country but uh, then you fail to get any interviews uh, from dental schools of united states and i have tried to ask why does this happen and there are people like program directors who have told me that uh, maybe you have achieved a lot in your country but the people actually do not know you know many times it is difficult to trust whether those achievements are right unless uh, they are highly authentic or somebody is recommending it uh, very surely for example take if you have an article in a very uh, reputed uh, journal with very high impact factor it is easier to develop but you know believe but suppose you have an uh, article and it is pu- just published uh, maybe a genuine journal but it is not well known so uh, the school may not know that it is very genuine so if you are in united states then there are people who who will know about you you will talk to them you can develop connections with them while you are you are in united states so it becomes easier you know to get into these programs and um, of course if you are doing an mph the important thing would be you get a student visa and with that student visa you can side by side uh, you know work while studying for mph and uh, you know uh, then you get to know about the country uh, and how that system works and uh, you will be better prepared to answer uh, such questions uh, when it is asked to specific to to that country so those are the important advantages which i have heard but what is the disadvantage of applying directly after bds to dds uh one thing would be suppose you have done a bds and you want to go to united states and while doing the preparation you want to stay in uh, us now majority time uh, trust me there are really good students who are in india but or any country but maybe financially they may not be sound so if you are staying in united states if you think then maybe if you have your relatives uh, you can stay with them but if you don't have it and you plan to stay with your own expenses then it is difficult because if you are on a tourist visa you are you cannot work there it is not in legal and uh, so 
if you convert indian rupees and you know start spending money in dollars for your stay for your food it is very very expensive it's really expensive and especially if it is your own uh, hard earned money then you will really feel a lot of uh, you know it's difficult to see that money uh, ex- gets exhausted so fast because uh, take a bread which cost 30 rupees in india will cost around 150 to 200 rupees when you convert currencies so that is one disadvantage and second <coughs> there are schools who uh, you know because i have been interacting with so many people and everybody has told me that with plain undergraduation some schools uh, do not uh, you know call you for interview so that is the disadvantage and third is because many times we are um you know maybe not prepared uh, for all those challenges but uh, of course with the right guidance right people supporting you even though you are young if you have good support you can sol- sail through those difficulties because this process is really tiring and there are way there are times where you feel things will not work out and that is the time where you need people to support you especially if you are very young and uh, it's all these challenges are new for you then let us take the other scenario where you are a post graduate in india and you want to do dds in the us now there are both positive and negative sides here so we'll discuss this let us tell let me tell you the positive side of this the obviously the positive side of this is uh, uh, that you are a post graduate when you are post graduate you tend to have a better um resume you have done your thesis you uh, have done your presentations you have clinical experience all those things are definitely there so you have something to show in your profile along with your post graduation and um, because of this uh, all these experiences you may be it may be easier to get into the dds program because you have all these experiences that is the biggest uh, positive aspect of this and uh, of course you are quite mature you can handle challenges uh, through this process uh, if there are failures uh, you know it, it is less likely that you will be demotivated and maybe you will take it as a real challenge and you will continue uh because by that time you have already faced lot of difficulties in your post graduation and you don't give up so easily but what is the um negative side of it the negative side of it is you are spending 3 years in india uh and during those 3 years things can change maybe today you really wanted to do dds but because of uh, maybe thing change in your situation in your family or commitments may arise uh, financial situations may change or uh, uh, you know anything anything which uh, can uh, you know hinder from uh, taking that decision uh, to going abroad uh, so that can happen and uh, of course you know that this visa issues are always challenges because uh there are times where suppose take the covid you know you you if you are not in us during that time and if you are preparing for india then uh, you know getting visa was very difficult everything was stopped so those people who were actually thinking to go all those plans uh, you know got postponed and that was very difficult um <clears throat> that is the major difficulty and third is that uh, uh that you know maybe maybe you may have that dream but depending on once you are done with your post graduation you might suddenly feel that okay now i am done i am done with studies and now maybe i will not be able to uh, you know give uh, an again study so uh, maybe for various reasons so that of course can change because once you get into working and uh, you know that learning is uh, you know never stops there are times you may feel that again that okay now i have worked in india or maybe now i have studied enough but i want to study more and uh, that zeal can always come back 
and uh, you can again prepare for it so that is the biggest difficulty that you know 3 years uh, is a big time in your country which may not happen if you are already in you know in the states and you are preparing for it so at last i would like to tell you that uh, this is my experience people who have spoken to me and uh, this is not my uh, something that you have to uh, you know consider as final but uh, they, because many people asked me i thought i will make a small video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please do mention in the comment section and do check out various podcast which i have mentioned you know already there on aspire 32 bye